If all is right, this envelope right here from Germany contains a summer magic card. Now, I i don't own any summer magic cards, so this would be my first one. And I would like you to kind of join me on this journey. And I'm going to open it, open it up um, um, right here, right now. So it's kind of exciting. So let's do this. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk summer magic cards. Because here is that envelope. And uh, oh man, this is special. Let me get some scissors here and open up this envelope. So there should be a summer magic card in here. And I can already tell you it's not a Timmy. It's not a card. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a Timmy. I've been saving up for this moment. Uh, let me know in the comments below what card you think I picked. Um, obviously, it's it's one of the cheaper ones. Well, as long as you can talk about cheap and in Summer Magic, but it's, in my opinion, still playable. Now, for the people that don't know, Summer Magic um, happened in the summer of 1994, and they released Revised in April of that year, so in April 94, and they weren't happy about certain things in the revised uh, set. And so they decided to make a summer uh, reprint. So that kind of the summer magic idea was it would be the perfect revised series, kind of revised uh, 2.0. Um, oh man, oh, this is, this is it, right? I see a couple of filler cards, but it should be in here. So I'm really, really excited. Oh man. So we got the token. I just, I don't want to spoil it yet. So here we go. This is the card. This is it. <laughs> Are you ready? And bam, here it is. A reconstruction. I'm just going to take it out of the, uh, out of the top loader here. I want to be careful, of course. I think reconstruction is very playable. Um, so that's kind of what I liked about this card. It's also blue, obviously. I'm a fan of blue, I'm a fan of artifacts. If you've kind of been following the channel, you probably know that already. Look at how beautiful this card is. What an exceptionally pristine condition. Look at the colors, it like really, really pops. Wow, beautiful art by Anson Maddox. It also refers to the research made by the sages on the College of Latinam. Of course, originally this comes from the Antiquities Collection. Reconstruction, one blue to cast, and you can bring back any one artifact from your graveyard to your hand. It's just amazing. I'm even gonna take it out of this sleeve. Just wanna be very careful, of course, because it's in super good condition, but now you can see it without any glare at all. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. We're gonna look at the back. Look at that back. Wow. So this is my one and only summer magic card. I don't expect to own any more. And I'm just absolutely thrilled that I now own this one. I'm just going to sleeve it up again. And what I was saying is um, the idea of summer magic is they wanted to um, correct the flaws that they made in revised, right? So they wanted to correct uh, the art of certain cards, like, of course, the Surrender of Freak, but they also wanted to correct the color issues, they wanted to correct uh, some of the artist names on the cards. Interesting, by the way, talking about the color issues, I personally always liked the revise. I still like the revised coloring. The way I saw it is that it's colored in with a pencil instead of a marker. That's how I looked at the art. So for me, revised, but that's of course biased because it was the set that I, that I got introduced in, into Magic, you know, it was my alpha. So I can't really say any bad things about Revised because I've got so many good memories with the set. But I do understand if you go from un Unlimited to a Revised printing, you're like, the colors, they, they don't, they're not as powerful as maybe they wanted to. And that's why they decided to kind of, kind of reprint it um, and make this Summer Magic Edition. But what went wrong is, and this is kind of still, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say a mystery because because mistakes are made everywhere, but it's just, it baffles me that they're going to make an improved reprint of a set because so much went wrong in the revised set, according to their opinion, you know, with artist names, with wrong art, with the coloring. Um, and so they decide to do a new Summer Magic version. And instead of 
testing it with a test run, they decide not to and they go, oh, let's just go full force and let's just do a full print run. And I mean, that's just pretty insane, isn't it? And so they did the full print run and lo and behold, the Summer Magic print run had a lot of mistakes. For example, the green Summer Magic cards were so dark that it was hard to read uh, the text in the text box. That was a huge problem. Also, um, I believe it's got the famous blue hurricane in there. So it should be green, but it was blue. And there are numerous mistakes made and they decided then to throw away to bin all these beautiful, exceptionally gorgeous summer magic cards. Can you believe that? So they were just dropped in the bin, but the story goes that it was also given out to WOTC employees, so people working at Wizards of the Coast at the time. And before they canceled it, there were already, I think, 40 or so boxes shipped, um, supposedly to, to the United States, to Texas. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, and also some boxes went to Ireland. So actually there were some Summer Magic boosters and booster boxes. Can you believe that if you or lucky enough to kind of have a Summer Magic booster or even a booster box. That would be just incredibly, incredibly insane. Um, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Um, but here we see the beautiful reconstruction. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, uh, gonna get the original reconstruction here uh, from Antiquities and I'm gonna get a, a revised copy just to show you here on camera. So I'm just gonna put this baby here Probably gonna hear some drawers here because we gotta, gotta go dig through some folders. Um, where did I put them? Let me see. It's really a luxury problem, right? To just have binders full of old school magic cards. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I think I found the binder that contains the reconstruction. No, I did not. Let's take a look. It's always when you're looking for something that's in the binder all the way on the bottom, right? Isn't it? I've got like a cupboard here with the my magic binders. And let's take a look. Oh, there we go. Reconstruction. Here we see the revised printing. This is the revised printing and I'm gonna get the antiquities and then I'm gonna show you uh, all three cards in a row. I guess I could, have, I could have done this before starting to record having the reconstructions ready, but I was just so excited about this, uh, this moment here and sharing it with you on camera because this is really something that I've been you know, working towards. I've wanted to have a summer magic card for very, very long. Um, but of course the price and also kind of doubting what card am I going to get. I wanted to choose a card that I could still kind of play. Um, so here we see all the cards and here you can really see the difference, right? And maybe this is a nice thing if you don't know the reconstruction one. So it's printed in antiquities, but it doesn't have the expansion set symbol. So they kind of miss that. So WOTC actually makes a lot of mistakes all the time in printing. And I kind of like that. I'm not, I'm not negative about that. I think it's, 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 it creates these stories and it creates these little, little differences in cards. And I kind of like that. So I'm just gonna take them out here, out of their sleeves again, to kind of show you the difference. So here you go. And maybe it's interesting to kind of see the difference between revised and antiquities because Revised was obviously printed later and the company had more budget. So in a way you would expect them to, to be able to make prints with more color. On the other hand, of course, they, um, um, you know, they needed to print in a higher volume. So maybe that was part of the reason. And if you look at these two next to each other, you can really see the Antiquities one is more colorful. Right? Then again, you know, what I said for me when I started playing as a kid, I was 11, I got my first revised booster. I really liked this. I just, like I said, I thought it was just colored in with pencil and it kind of gave this, um, this sincere original feel for me. But of course, this is beautiful, it's all blackboard. So now just keep this picture in your mind and I'm gonna get the 
summer magic card there and maybe first compare it with the revised version so he can kind of see what they were going for right and i think in many ways fourth edition was kind of i wouldn't say that then the improved summer magic but fourth edition was more where they wanted to go to but i think this coloring is much much nicer than fourth edition and look at those differences they're just huge and now if we go to the antiquity so the original printing of the card and even there we see a big color difference right look at those vivid colors so you can kind of spot a summer magic card from a mile away and that's what i kind of what i really really like and i should say just love about them um i know a friend of mine gideon has an island of summer magic and i think he's also played it on the channel we you know we're playing a game of multiplayer four players so you got really small windows and even then you can spot hey that's a summer magic island because the colors are just so so incredibly bright Anyway, uh, this was my video of opening up my very first summer magic card. I'm just really excited to own one. I'm so going to play with this. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of summer magic. Uh, if you would like to own a summer magic card, if you own a summer magic card. And also, can you give me some advice? Where would you play this reconstruction in? In what kind of deck uh, would you play it? I think I'm just going to play it as a one-off, just, you know, just to show... Well, not show, but enjoy my, my new summer magic card. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, talking about that, uh, you can also support the channel by leaving a comment and, of course, by watching this video. So thank you for doing that. Also, you can share it on your socials. Leave a like if you want to, of course, if you like the content. All that helps Timmy Talks grow and helps me to continue making these videos for you guys. Well, I'm also making it for myself because I just really, really enjoy doing this. Um, talking about all that, you can also become a Patreon, or I should say a patron on Patreon. And how does that work? Well, there's a link popping up right now, a little info card. You can click on there and then you can find out how you can support the channel. And it already starts from $1 um, a month. So it's, it's pretty low. So if you can miss that, I would really appreciate it. And that means that you get to join our Discord. And also your name is going to be up in the credits. Oh yeah, really? Yes, really. Talking about that, let's take a look at the end scroll and let's take a look at all the fantastic, amazing, super gorgeous, summer magic level uh, patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Ik het als fikkertes samba kan zien.